I'm here to tell you what they haven't told you about 5G, the pros and cons. Ooh, so what is 5G? It's the fifth generation in mobile communication technology. It's already here and it's ridiculously fast. 5G is higher frequency, meaning higher bandwidth. Uh, so it means if you were to upload a YouTube video, normally it would take 45 minutes. But with 5G, it would take just one minute. So it's crazy fast. Wow, that is crazy fast. Yep. And the difference between 4G and 5G in terms of speed is 20 milliseconds to 1 millisecond. So 19 thousandths of a second faster. If you were to download a two hour film on 3G, it would take 26 hours. On 4G, it would take six minutes. And on 5G, it would take just 3.6 seconds. What? 5G is also lower latency, so you can see things in real time. That's amazing! Yeah, it seems amazing until I started to do some research for myself on what 5G actually is. Nikola Tesla said, If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. She also said, so astounding are the facts in this connection that it would seem as though the creator himself had electrically designed this planet. You see, the way we are designed is to operate, work and progress in terms of energy, frequencies and vibration. You've heard neuroscientists talk about neurons firing and wiring together. Well, God has designed us so brilliantly, we already have a negative and positive charge that already exists in us. It's actually how information gets sent around the body and our minds are what drives our energy and our emotions and choices. But there's also outside frequencies and energies that we are picking up every day and half the time we're not even aware of it. Oh really? Like what? There might be someone who's having a bad day and they're carrying bad energy we would say. Kinda like you the other day. Hey, what? But we feel it. There's also environmental aspects that affect us as well. We are living in the midst of EMF, electromagnetic fields. So what's going to happen when we introduce frequencies like 5G, which is so powerful to the body? It's going to have disastrous consequences. <gasps> oh no. I read an article by Martin Powell, who is a great doctor who's done a lot of extensive research on 5G technology, and it says... It argues that the addition of this added high frequency 5G radiation to an already complex mix of lower frequencies will contribute to a negative public health outcome from both physical and mental health perspectives. Environmental effects of existing RF radiation have also been ignored. 5G will massively increase the microwave and millimeter wave radiation in our environment and will have a detrimental effect on wildlife and trees. However, the scientific evidence that indicates grave dangers continues to grow. Increase in the risk of cancer, infertility, learning and memory deficits, neurological disorders, and electrohypersensitivity. This article goes on to say, some research on non-thermal effects has shown that millimeter wavelengths target cell membranes and have adverse biological effects as well as clinical effects such as cataracts, immune system alterations, and physiological effects on the heart and blood pressure. Betzalal et al. in 2018 demonstrated that the sweat glands, which are coiled structures in the upper layers of the skin, can act as an antenna receiver for 5G sub-THC band wavelengths. If it's not stopped, there may be a serious illness explosion. Risks from 5G include damage to the eyes, cataracts and retinal damage, severe sweating, skin damage, immune system disruption, metabolic disruption, neurological disturbance, leakage of blood-brain barrier, damage to sperm, increased risk of cancers, rise in bacterial resistance and bacterial shifts, collapse of insect populations, and damage to plants and trees. That's not good. Nope, not good at all. Millimeter wavelengths at high intensity have even been used in military applications in active denial systems, which is non-lethal crowd control weapons. 
but it has huge detrimental effects to the human body. It causes DNA damage and has dense radiation. So because it's so dense, it doesn't travel that far, which means they're going to put up many towers close together, about 4 to 10 houses, that will beam this radiation at you and your family. Oh, hell no! Also, I read another article on the Environmental Health Trust website that states 5G frequencies are used in weapons. It says, For years, the US, Russian and Chinese defense agencies have been developing weapons that rely on the capability of this electromagnetic frequency range to induce unpleasant burning sensations on the skin as a form of crowd control. Millimeter waves are utilized by the US Army in crowd dispersal guns called active denial systems. Dr. Paul Ben Ashai pointed to research that was commissioned by the US Army to find out why people ran away when the beam touched them. He said, if you are unlucky enough to be standing there when it hits you, you will feel like your body is on fire. The US Department of Defense explains how the sensation dissipates when the target moves out of the beam. The sensation is intense enough to cause a nearly instantaneous reflex action of the target to flee the beam. Oh, damn! There have even been studies that with frequency, you can actually affect a population and how they think. And 5G can manipulate people's consciousness. The problem with 5G is that it can affect the brain-blood barrier in a negative way. Also knowing that our brain is electrical, the problem it raises is that you can alter someone's perception with 5G, the way they think and the way they act, because our brains run on frequency just like 5G. Our DNA is a transmitter and receiver of information. It's actually kind of like a biological antenna. I did not know that. I know. I made this video based on my own research but I encourage you to go out and do your own research and find out for yourself all the research we've already found out on 5G. Contact your local government, get on petitions. Well, what about if I already have 5G towers around me? What can I do to protect myself? I would encourage you to eat a healthy diet, a lot of plant-based foods, and I also listen to music that is on the solfeggio scale. For example, the frequency 528 Hz in studies appears to influence the water molecules that surround the DNA helix, thereby bringing healing effects on DNA. Also, some refer to 528 Hz solfeggio as the frequency of love, which in addition to providing health benefits, opens up portals to spiritual transformation and awakening. Oh, okay, wow. So 5G has many concerns in regards to our health. I encourage you to do your own research, make as much noise as you can, make a video, contact your local government, because otherwise we're all going to be walking around getting filled with this radiation and we don't want that. Yeah, nobody wants that. Thank you again so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be putting more videos out about how we're naturally wired and facts about the brain that can help you in your everyday life and help you be you because that's the only person you want to be. Thank you again for watching. You're all amazing. Take care and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Be you.